Welcome back everybody, we're checking out Amped ML5 today. I promised I would do a video on this particular plugin and here we are, take a look at it. It's a Mark V plugin. What a glorious thing this promises to be. You have all the front panel controls you would expect on a Mesa Mark V, including the very important graphic EQ. You've also got access to a pedal board right here where you can have a noise gate, a drive pedal, a delay and a reverb and you can choose between a built-in cabinet impulse and an IR loader so you can load up one of your own cabs. Let's just roll with the built-in cab for now and we will start with the clean channel. Each of these different modes is modeled as a separate amp so you can access them from this drop-down menu here or you can go and click on the different channels and use a little toggle switches over there to kind of select between modes, kind of the way you would on the real amplifier. So that's a nice feature. Each mode also comes with various presets. Let's start with one that I cooked up, very imaginatively titled LT Clean. As you can see, I'm on the clean mode of channel one, and I've just kind of dipped the mid-range control a little bit and dropped the gain down. I'm playing a PRS DGT on the neck pickup in the split coil mode. <laughs> That sounds really nice and clean and pristine. As you can hear, the reverb and the delay on there don't sound too bad at all. Let's turn that reverb up a little bit. You have a tone control, which I love for the reverb, so you can make it brighter or darker. that at all. There are three different modes on channel one. We have clean, fat, and tweed. Let's hear fat. That one feels a lot different to the plain old clean on there, but my favorite mode on channel one is easily the tweed mode. I have a little preset I cooked up here called Tweedy, a little bit of reverb, a little bit of slapback delay. <laughs> That is quite nice. Let's move over to channel two. There are three modes here. Again, we have Edge, we have, what's the other one called? Crunch, and we have ML1. ML1, it's kind of like a Mark I style thing. So let's start there. A little bit of delay, a little bit of reverb. Let's go to the next humbucker here. Have a listen to this. <laughs> That's doing the Mark I lead thing very nicely. Let's go back to Edge. Did I have a preset that I dialed in here? I did, again, this is all just the kind of stock cab that it comes with. <laughs> I should mention at the start as well, we also have access to input gain over here. So if you're using a guitar with really hot pickups, you can bring that down. If you're using a guitar with really mellow pickups, like one of my strats is super duper mellow, this is very handy, but it seems about right in the middle with this guitar. Then we have the crunch mode, and I didn't dial in a preset in advance for this. Let's just have a listen to, uh, I think this beefy gain was my favorite little factory preset here. <laughs> Thank you. 
If you're like me and you think of a Mark series amp, you normally think of the chugga chugga stuff. So let's go over to channel three. There is a 2C plus mode, a Mark IV mode, and an extreme mode. Let's start with this particular mode here. Uh, this is pretty much how I would dial in any Mark series simulation with the bass and middle low. Crank the treble up because uh, they should be pre-gain. In the real amp, they're pre-gain. In stuff like the fractal models, they're pre-gain. And it sounds like they're pre-gain here, which is really, really nice. So you can actually use the bass, middle, and treble to kind of shape the feel of your gain. Then you use the graphic EQ to sculpt the tone. Lots of gain here. The presence dipped a little bit, like I said, mid-range and bass low, treble cranked up, bright switch on. <laughs> That does what you want it to do. I'm gonna load up one of my IRs on this though. I have this particular impulse that I made of my Marshall cab with V30s. I think this one is a combination between a Royer 121 ribbon and a Shaw SM7B. Have a listen to the impact choosing a different cab IR has on the overall tone. I feel a little bit more comfortable with the high gain sounds with this particular cab. <laughs> That's pretty nice. I dig that mode. Let's hear the 2C plus mode. I have a kind of lead sound dialed in here. Again, I'm going to load up my own user IR on this. A little bit of delay. Uh, I'm going to just put a pinch of reverb on that, and then we can have a listen to what the drive can do on top of all of that. This 2C plus mode is probably my favorite mode on this amp simulation. <laughs> There's still a lot of articulation and clarity in there, which I like as well. And finally, let's hear this extreme mode. Brought the bass down a lot pre-gain on this. I'll probably bring the treble up a little bit. Again, I'm gonna load up my user IR in there. Uh, I like to bring this 240 slider down. That's kind of how you know it's not one of my presets. Uh, and I would probably bring this guy down a little bit as well. Uh, yeah, this is pretty cool. I'm gonna turn the noise gate on so I can get super tight kind of palm muty staccato stuff and it sounds like this. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
does what it says on the tin, and that would probably be my overall summation of the plugin. It definitely does what it sets out to do. It gives you that Mark series flavor in a plugin format. The only other plugin that I can think of that basically does a similar kind of thing, and it's not modeling a Mark V, it's modeling a triaxis. It is the Mercurial Reaxis plugin. Fantastic sounding plugin. It's kind of a different beast in the way their workflow is set out compared to this. One thing that I like about this is this really nails the gain structure of a real Mark series when it comes to the way the treble, bass, and mid-range controls work on the real amplifier. They kind of do the same thing here, same thing with the graphic. They've also kind of tried to tread that balance between the fact this in the real world is a very complicated amplifier to dial in. So if you've got a really complicated amp, you probably wouldn't spend a whole lot of time, you know, playing around with different cabinets and different mic positions. So they've eliminated the whole cab IR section. There's a built-in cab, which sounds fine, and you can load up a user cab, which just takes out a whole other level of option paralysis. If you are, if you don't like option paralysis, a Mark series is definitely not for you. But if you like the Mark series, this plugin is probably for you. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and I will see you all next time. Thank you so much for watching.